First up is MELD. This MPE-capable instrument is a playground for sonic diversity offering deep sound shaping capabilities. MELD excels in producing a spectrum of sounds from evolving textures and rhythmic drones to harmonic effects and atonal landscapes. Its oscillators are adept at mimicking natural phenomena like rainfall, fire, and scraping noises. Injecting your tracks with a layer of organic, sometimes irregular noise. The bi-tombral capabilities allow the creation and layering of two completely distinct sounds. This is achieved through two easy to use macro oscillators, simplifying the process of crafting rich experimental soundscapes. Team this up with the most creative filtering system Ableton have offered yet. With a magnitude of modulation routings, Meld is your tool for adding character and playfulness to your tracks. RAW is a versatile colouring and saturation device. It offers a range of non-linear saturation curves, ideal for everything from subtle mastering grade warmth to more aggressive sound degradation. With three distinct saturation stages that can be used in series, parallel, mid-side, multiband, and feedback configurations. RAW enhances single sounds, buses, or even your main output with rich character and warmth. RAW's extensive modulation matrix opens up possibilities for dynamic motion and static sounds, while its advanced feedback routing capabilities can generate evolving textures and unique feedback types. Moreover, RAW includes a built-in compressor section, allowing for independent dynamic control. This separate control of dynamics and saturation adds depth, enabling multiple layers of sophisticated sound shaping. Granulator 3 marks the latest evolution of Robert Henke's renowned Granulator 2. As a standout device in Max for Live, it's known for transforming samples into rich textures, pads, and atmospheres. The third iteration elevates this with MPE capability, allowing you to intricately manipulate parameters like note bend, vibrato, and glissando. Granulator 3's real-time recording feature lets you instantly convert your live audio input into captivating soundscapes. Coupled with a redesigned user-friendly interface, it ensures an inviting experience in crafting your sonic textures. Drum racks in Live 12 bring a fresh approach to beat making. With a new swappable sample feature, you can instantly replace all samples in your rack with similar ones. This ability to hot swap samples from comparable percussive textures transforms your drum rack into a vast drum machine with an extensive range of kits at your fingertips. You can also swap individual samples or lock samples and swap the rest. This is also possible within Simpler. Sound Similarity Search takes this a step further. By selecting a sample in the browser, Live 12 can search for and display similar sounds based on timbre streamlining your search process and making sound exploration more relevant and time efficient. Further enhancing your search experience, Live 12 introduces an innovative browser history feature. It allows you to revisit previously searched sounds or categories, much like a web browser. This tool is invaluable for rediscovering sounds you've explored and loved and liked or hated, ensuring you're never far from a promising sound you may have previously overlooked. Another significant leap in organization comes with browser tagging and filtered searches. Live 12 liberates you from the constraints of built-in categorization, offering a more intuitive and flexible search experience. Whether you're looking for bass sounds or specific genre presets, the new system's pre-tagged content makes finding what you need straightforward and efficient. The addition of custom tags allows you to personalize your library, creating a workflow tailored to your preferences. And get this, you can save your searches. Scale Awareness in Live 12 introduces a tuning system and global scale settings that permeates the entire set, similar to the functionalities of Push or Note. This global scale setting is inherited by individual clips, providing a cohesive musical context across your project. In the MIDI editor, this system visually distinguishes notes that fall within or outside the selected scale, streamlining a composition process. You can also just fold these notes. 
Furthermore, MIDI devices handling pitch in Live 12 are now scale aware. They can adapt to the scale settings of the song or a specific playing clip, ensuring elements like arpeggios and chords and strums are harmonically consistent with your overall musical context. This integration extends to enhanced UIs for each device, making them more intuitive to use. You'll also find scale-aware functionality scattered throughout places you wouldn't expect. Check out the filter section in the options for Meld. In fact, Meld itself is the first fully scale-aware instrument. Expanding beyond the traditional 12-tone equal temperament system, Live 12's tuning system offers a gateway into experimental soundscapes. Musicians can delve into non-Western tunings using the curated set in the core library or import their own Scala files. This feature is seamlessly integrated into Live devices and any MPE-capable plugins, offering an expansive canvas for sonic exploration and pushing the boundaries of conventional music production. Okay, now let's talk about MIDI tools. Live 12 offers a staggering new array of transformative ways to interact with MIDI data. Stretching notes, transposing passages into or within scales, and adding chromatic or key-based intervals expand your melodic arsenal. The Humanize feature adds a natural feel by slightly shifting notes off grid, and the extended legato options provide smoother note transitions. Now, let's talk about generators. These spur creativity. You can generate rhythm using a reference note to auto-fill a rhythmic grid. Seed generates notes with specific pitch, time, duration, and velocity parameters. Shape is a guided melodic line generator where you define the overall shape, octave range, and density. Stacks generate between one and four chords based on the various chord rules that can be specified. Next up is transformations. These offer advanced permutations to modify your notes. Let's take a look at what these do. Arpeggiate turns chord tones into separate rhythmic notes with control over pitch order, rate, and lengths. Connect links successive notes or chords. Ornament adds grace notes and flams for expressive touch. Quantize, now a transformation, adjusts notes timing directly in your clip. Recombine shuffles MIDI note parameters like pitch and velocity. Strum offsets start times for guitar-like effects. Time warping allows for creating acceleration or deceleration curves, enhancing your rhythmic dynamics. Generators and transformers are scale aware. Finally, the MIDI editor sees significant improvements, cutting, chopping, joining notes, and more to streamline your editing workflow, all accessible via enhanced keypad commands.
Next up is modulation without takeover. Unlike previous versions where modulated parameters became locked and greyed out, Live 12 allows continuous adjustment of these parameters. This change means that even after assigning a modulation source like an LFO or envelope follower, you can still tweak the parameter in real time. It's more intuitive and it's akin to hardware synths offering flexibility in changing modulation ranges on the fly and enhancing your live performance capabilities. Now let's take a look at the user interface improvements of Live 12. Here we see significant enhancements aimed at streamlining the creative process, especially effective on higher resolution displays, starting with mixer improvements. The addition of a 4 pixel colour stripe at the bottom of the mixing area mirrors the track colour above, aiding in navigation and track identification. The volume handle has been redesigned into a larger triangle for better visibility. Moving to the arrangement view, the mixer can now be toggled on or off using the mixer view control in the bottom right corner. This flexibility extends to configuring the visibility of individual mixer sections like ins and outs and sends, with session mixer settings being independent from the arrangement mixer. Now one of the standout features is the stacked detail views. This allows you to see the clip editor, device view, automation and device parameters simultaneously all without having to switch between views. It's a game changer for focusing on a specific track offering a comprehensive view of everything your track is doing at a glance. And lastly on the user interface, Live has just undergone a really cool modern makeover. The streamlined design minimizes distractions from non-musical elements, it just feels like you're focused on a more music making experience. And finally I just have to mention accessibility. Live 12 has really done well here, they've specifically catered towards visually impaired musicians. Uh, this is with macOS capability at launch, Live 12 supports core workflows through assistive tools like screen readers, with a commitment to extend the support to Windows users soon. My name's Tom Cosm and this has been Live 12 in 12 minutes.